here with Kyle Martino, former MLS and national team player, current analyst on NBC. Kyle, you got to call the first leg between the Houston Dynamo and Sporting Kansas City in this Eastern Conference Championship. What did you see in that game? Saw a lot of cramping. Saw a lot of players that had tons of minutes on their legs and a little bit of a stalemate. You know, it, it seemed like... Sporting Kansas City learned their lesson the first time around by going there and maybe opening up a little too much and coming back to uh, Sporting Park with uh, too much of a deficit to climb back from. And we're a little cagier, a little more responsible this time around. And I don't think that uh, Houston did enough with that home field advantage. I, I think they needed to come here with at least a goal. Well, I know it's going to be a very cold match tomorrow, Saturday night kick here in Kansas Don't City. Like you're going to be out braving yeah. the elements. But is there a specific area or a key matchup that you're going to have your eyes on? Yeah, I mean, Ricardo Clark hasn't trained since that knee injury, and he is so crucial to everything that the Houston Dynamo do. Um, and even that little tweak to move him a little bit further up the field by Dominic Kinnear and bring Warren Craval in behind him has been working wonders, especially in the postseason. So it, whether or not he can play, it's not even a matchup that we're going to see on the field yet, but whether or not he can play is a huge one. If he can't, how... Uh, Dominic Kinnear tweaks things to, to protect that. Does he bring um, Carrasco in? Does he slide Brad Davis or Boniac Garcia into the middle and bring on Andrew Driver? That's going to be uh, where I'm going to be focusing my attention on because if Ricardo Clark plays, how healthy is he? And if he doesn't, how do they fix the fact that they're losing one of their most important players? Yeah. Well, on Kansas City's side, you were at training here today on Friday. You got to take it in and talk with a lot of the players. They seemed very, very confident today. For you, as a former player yourself, how do you get that confidence to translate on the field come Saturday? Yeah, you know, the two-week break, too, has pent up some some anger, some frustration. They almost wanted to play right away. It seems like they've never been so anxious to play a game. I also heard the word maturity and growth from a lot of the players, saying that this is a different team than the last time around. You would think they'd be a little bit nervous about playing the team that's knocked them out the last two years, but they don't really look at it as a revenge game. The guys that I've talked to said, we're smarter this time around. Um, we We've lost some of our weapons offensively, but we're a better team, surprisingly, than we were in the past because of the experience. So it's going to be interesting how they deal with Houston. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting game to say the least, I think. All right, lay it on out there for me. Give me your prediction. Who's going to pull it out? I think uh, you hardly see goals in, in this matchup. I think the last five games have only produced four. So it's going to be a tight one. But... Uh, Sporting Kansas City are going to do enough. They're going to get a goal. I think they'll actually push for more than one. I think they're not going to rest on one. But uh, one nothing is a is a pretty responsible prediction for well, me. And if they do that, they're going to make this sold-out crowd here at home in Kansas City pretty proud. You can catch all of the action at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Kyle and John Strong have the call on NBC Sports Network. But make sure to tune back in right here, MLSsoccer.com, for your live pregame show at 7 p.m. Eastern.